Hey guys, Dr. Daly here. I get asked again and again about fibromyalgia flare-ups. Why do they happen and what causes them? Well, there are a whole lot of reasons and I can't cover them all and really I don't pretend to know them all. I do want to explain a simple concept that I think will give you serious insight into a fibromyalgia flare. You have to work with me here. You gotta lend me your imagination if you would. In your mind's eye, I want you to picture this. Now, as a 10-year-old boy, my dad showed me a trick that I remember to this day. He took a clear glass, filled it with water to the very brim, to the point that the water actually was over top of the glass. It was so full that I could see above the edge of the glass. I could see the water above the edge of the glass, but it didn't spill. Now, although it didn't spill over, if I put something in the glass as small as a tiny pebble or a BB, without question, the water would spill out of the glass and onto the counter. Now, let's apply this simple principle to the fibromyalgia sufferer. Let's pretend like you as the fibromyalgia sufferer are the glass. The typical fibromyalgia sufferer has multiple layers of dysfunction. In other words, they have many underlying issues that have caused them to experience the symptoms of fibromyalgia. These multiple issues are like the water in the glass. For example, you may be filled with gastrointestinal dysfunction irritable bowel syndrome, leaky gut syndrome. Many fibromyalgia sufferers also have autoimmune diseases, food sensitivities, thyroid and adrenal dysfunction, environmental toxicity, even emotional and physical stress. Now, all these things fill you as the glass so full that it takes very little to cause an overflow or a spill. The overflow and the spill is what we would call a fibromyalgia flare-up. So when you as the fibromyalgia sufferer have multiple dysfunctions, much like the glass of water, when you get exposed to almost anything, it can cause a spill or a fibromyalgia flare-up. So it can be something as small as bad weather, increased activity, emotional stress, eating something that doesn't agree with you, smelling a perfume, being exposed to a toxin of some kind, whether it's a house cleaning toxin or toxins in the environment, cigarette smoke. The list literally goes on and on. So as a fibromyalgia sufferer, you are under such a heavy physiological load that the smallest thing can cause a flare up. Now, the flare-up is really your body functioning at a very low level, doing its best to function under severe stress. It's a lot like a six-cylinder automobile running on two cylinders. It may move, but it's surely not running properly. Well, that's why you can't get out of bed in the morning or why you struggle to get through the day. It's why you hurt all over and can't think clearly. So what is it that causes a fibromyalgia flare-up? Well, as you can see, it's different things for different people and even different things for the same person. So today the weather can cause your flare-up, tomorrow it could be something you eat, and next week it could be a distressing phone call with bad news. So just like the glass that is full to the point it almost overflows, Almost anything can cause a fibromyalgia flare, depending on who you are and how far, how many, how many things are already in the glass. So the key to reducing the flare up is to lower the level of physiological stress that's on your body. So you have to reduce the overload. And this is done by careful evaluation, consultation, examination. And just like peeling the layers of an onion, it happens one layer at a time. So I would say to you as the fibromyalgia sufferer, you need to do all that you can to lower the level of physiological stress. 
So hopefully that's given you some insight into the reason why you have fibromyalgia flares. Thanks so much. God bless you and have a great day.